I'm just about to walk you guys through the process of minting your very first NFT on OpenSea.io, so let's get started. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, and so right after connecting to OpenSea.io, the first thing you would have to do would be connecting your wallet. And you've got a bunch of different options, ranging from MetaMask to Coinbase. And you've got some options here that are based on Solana. The others are based on the Ethereum blockchain. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. As long as you do have a wallet and it is connected successfully to OpenSea, that is all we need. Now. If you want to set one up using MetaMask, it's only going to take a couple minutes. All you have to do is add the Chrome extension to your browser by clicking on that button. And after that point, it is just going to be really straightforward. So I'm not going to waste your time with that. I don't want to bore you. Instead, let's skip straight to the point. What about minting our first NFT on OpenSea? How can we do that? Well, guys, as you might expect, that is done by clicking on this option that says create. That will allow you to connect your wallet and sign a transaction. Don't worry about it. It's not going to charge you anything. This is just for OpenSea to successfully connect you to the website. And once that is out of the way, this is where the magic happens. And here's the thing that most people overlook. When we think about NFTs, we probably think of JPEGs, right? Images. But that is more to it than that. You can also turn a video into a non-fungible token. You can upload an audio file or even a 3D model if that's what you're passionate about. They're gonna support all of these different formats. But for the sake of simplicity in today's video, we're gonna stick to JPEGs, right? And now you might be finding all sorts of excuses. I'm not an artist, I'm not a creative person, and I'm no graphic designer. So how can I possibly create something that is cool enough and unique enough for people to spend hundreds of dollars on it? How can I create a successful NFT collection? Well, guys, I wish I could provide you with an exact answer for that question, but I cannot. But what we can do instead is take a look at already successful projects. If you head over to the Explore tab on OpenSea, you will be able to take a look at all of these different collections that are already selling thousands of items. And you've got this full list of filters that you can apply to your search, such as recently listed if you're looking for upcoming projects, or you can just sort them by recently sold. Or if you want to take a look at the expensive ones, you can sort them by their price from high to low. I'm going to let you play around with these features. The bottom line is this. What you can do is take a look at what your competitors are doing, model that, improve it, and come up with your own collection. But now, let's say that you're not willing to spend all that time. You just want to create your NFT and you want it to be as simple as possible. You don't really have a lot of spare time, right? Well, in that case, artificial intelligence is going to help us out, believe it or not. There are a few ways you can go about it and we're going to cover them all. The very first thing you could do is head over to generated.photos. Now, this tool right here is powered by artificial intelligence. So let me illustrate how it works. What you want to do is click on generate faces and play around with this editor right here. Now, guys, this is not a real person. As you can probably tell, this guy has been generated by artificial intelligence intelligence and you can start playing around with all of these features and it will gradually start changing so let's do it right now we can mess around with the head pose the age of this character we can even switch up the emotion or just generate a random one once that is out of the way you can even choose a different hair color to make it even more unique you can also play around with the hair length you're in full control here and if you want to, you can even add some glasses. I'm not gonna lie, this one is pretty weird. But it is absolutely unique. It has been generated by artificial intelligence. This is not a real person. And so, it is completely out of the ordinary, which is the whole point about NFTs. They need to be unique. They need to have certain features that make them stand out, right? And so what you can do is base an entire collection of NFTs on artificial intelligence. Creating this is only gonna take a couple minutes. All you gotta do is play around with some features until you got a result that you're satisfied with. And once you're there, you can download the design and upload it on OpenSea as I'm about to illustrate. Or you can do something else. Here's another similar tool, but I think that this second one is a lot more helpful. Instead of generating a random face, you can still use artificial intelligence, but generate something entirely different, something truly unique. Here's how it works. You want to head over to hotpot.ai, and now you can switch over to the NFT creation center. Select NFT generator, and this is where the magic happens. What we want to use is their AI NFT maker. You can turn your imagination into an actual NFT. But now, guys, we need to make an important distinction here. This is not a token. This is not a non-fungible So It's just a picture. If you really want to turn it into an actual NFT, you want to mint it. You want to tokenize it using OpenSea. And I'm about to walk you through that process as well. But for now, we need to get that creative done, right? And unless you want to draw it, unless you have a pretty solid skill set, AI might be the solution you're looking for. So let's give it a try. What you want to do at this point is give it a brief description of your project. What kind of 
character do you want to draw? Let's just type something in and then we can also choose a style. Let's pick Japanese art. I think that one is quite unique. So let's create it. Now generating this one is going to take a while, but it is entirely worth it. However, in the meantime, we can do something else. We can head back over to OpenSea and explore the creation process. Once you head over to the section that allows you to create a new item, you can start entering some details, such as the name of your NFT, which is a mandatory field. And then you might as well want to add some additional information, such as an external link. And this is a tricky one. What you could do is create a website in order to present your NFT collection. You can talk about the idea. You can describe the fact that it's generated by artificial intelligence. And so it is 100% unique. Providing some more background and some more information is going to make it more enticing for people who just stumble upon it randomly. Then you might as well want to add a description. And here's another tricky one. Remember, NFTs are all about their uniqueness, right? So the more rare their traits, the more valuable they are going to be. And you're going to increase your chances of creating a truly unique item. What you can do is add some properties. Just think about the general note of your collection, what kind of properties your characters might have, and you can add a list of those. There you have it. You can add a type and then a name and so on and so forth. You can also add a level and ultimately some numerical traits, but that is not mandatory. It's entirely up to you. Now, in the meantime, we've got our result here, but I do not think it is that relevant to our search. So let's do another iteration. And gradually, as we repeat this process over and over, it will get closer to our final target, right? But now guys, in the meantime, while Hotpot.ai is doing the research and trying to come up with that unique design, we can use this one as reference. So I'm just gonna download it. You can also right click on it and save it. But in order to make it even more spectacular, we might wanna add another filter. In order to do that, you could head over to fodder.com and use their so-called NFT creator. Again, this is not an NFT creator, it's just a filter, but it looks pretty cool. Take a look at this. It turns this picture into something entirely different and that's precisely what we wanna achieve. So let's create the NFT. What I'm going to do right now is upload my image and then apply the filter. Oh, and by the way, you've got a few different options as well. You can choose the one that you think is the most suitable. I think this one looks a lot better. I mean, it is a unique design, right? However, guys, we've still got a watermark on it. In case you want to remove it, what you have to do is start a free trial. You won't have to pay for the subscription, but you need to sign up. We can also play around with the intensity in case we want to tone it down. But what about our Japanese art here? Can we actually work with that? Well, I'm going to download it and apply the filter as well. So let's see what we get. I'm going to run you through this filter once more, and hopefully we might be able to get a unique design. Well, it doesn't really look that good, to be honest. It's still better than the original, though. Again, guys, through multiple different iterations, you will eventually get there. But this is an effortless way to create a unique design that's unlike something that I've ever seen. But at some point, let's just say you are satisfied with the final result, so you want to turn it into an actual token. What you're gonna do is upload your picture right here and then you're gonna add a name. Again, this is a mandatory field, so it needs to be filled out. Additionally, just as mentioned before, you can add an external link as well and describe it a little bit further. You can create an entire presentation telling this hero's story. And as you might expect, that's gonna make it more enticing for people. And another thing I wanted to emphasize is that you can also add it to a collection. And I would highly recommend that you do that. You can just rename it right here, create a new one. And the thing is, by having multiple different NFTs, all the way up to thousands, you're gonna create some sort of community, right? Each and every single one of them has got unique traits, but they are all part of the same collection. That is how all of these different successful NFT projects have done it, so we might as well try to model them. If remember, in case that JPEG file doesn't really seem all of that attractive for you, you can also try creating a video and you can tokenize it. But that's gonna be entirely up to you. Now, as you can spot, minting an NFT on OpenSea is entirely free of charge. You will not have to pay a single penny. However, if you want to sell it on the marketplace and actually get a profit for that NFT and not just waste your time playing around with artificial intelligence, you would have to cover the gas fees. And in some cases, that might be all the way up to $20 that you have to spend. And so that part is not free. If you wanna list it for sale, you're gonna have to afford it. Oh, and by the way, OpenSea is not the only platform that allows you to mint an NFT. It is just one of the most popular options, and that's the reason why I chose to cover it. But if you don't like OpenSea, where you cannot connect your wallet for some reason, it could happen. An alternative to that is Rarible.com. It's gonna work in an identical way. Once you've connected your wallet, you're good to go. You can add a display name, an email address, and then you can create your own NFT collection. And at this point, you've got all the resources you need to take action. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.